Hi, I'm Liam. I'm Lincoln. I'm Dandel. And I'm Will, and welcome to Tantrum House. Today we are going to look at a slightly different type of game. It's called Kingdom's Lawn Game. So we're going to actually take it outdoors and do some playing. But be sure you guys check it out on Kickstarter right now. Hey guys, I'm in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina at the Falls Park. I don't know if you can hear and see the waterfall in the background. We're going to go ahead and set up Kingdom's Lawn Game for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and then we'll play through it. Right now, I think we're getting ready to pick which order we're going to go in. We're drawing a ball color out. Uh, that's how you determine your starting order. And each ball has a different uh, player power that goes with it, which is pretty cool. We've also staked off some territory uh, that will serve as our realm for the game. And then we'll pick our battle line in just a second and we'll get started building our kingdoms. At the beginning of the game, seven stakes go into the ground in order to mark off the realm for the game. Players then take turns throwing their blocks, or castles, into the space. Uh, if a block goes outside of the realm, it's removed from the game, uh, and everyone else yeah. then goes to set up the blocks that they've thrown out. They can be touching each other, they can be above or around terrain, or below terrain, uh, they can really go pretty much anywhere. Obviously there's some technique to getting your blocks further away, but then you risk throwing them outside of the realm, which can be a dangerous move. Once the castles are all set up, you move into the fun part. That's when we take turns throwing our soldiers, or balls, into the field, attempting to knock each other's castles over. If no castles are knocked over during a round, then for the next round, players move three stake lengths further into the field, getting them closer to the castles and therefore making it easier to hit their targets. We didn't have any problem with that as you can see. All right, so we finished the first phase. We've all thrown our balls, and now everybody's going to claim their knocked over towers. Fortunately for my little man, Yellow's superpower is that for the first round, any of their castles that get knocked over, they get to reset back up. So he's good to go, and I think Lincoln might be out. The following rounds of the game are played exactly like the first one, where players take turns throwing their balls at the standing castles. And once all the balls have been thrown, they retrieve those and take any castles that have been knocked over, until there are no castles left and one player remains as the winner. Alright, so we're down to like the final, probably what will be the final round. We've only got three castles left. A couple of people have already been knocked out, but we're playing the mercenary variation. So once you're out of the game, you can't win, but you can still attempt to take everybody else out of the game. Are we ready for the final round? Alright, Zander, let's see that throw. Alright, Lincoln. What can you knock over? And I'm out. That means one. I won. So we just got back from playing the game. We got a champion here. He won for us. He did a really good job. Uh, we had a lot of fun playing it. Some of the things I enjoyed about the game are just simply that it was heavy duty. Like it's meant to be played and it's going to last a long time, which is great. The only downside to that is it's also just heavy. So make sure you park close to the park where you play this because it is an arm load. Uh, Liam, what are some of the thoughts you had about the game? I like the game how like, you can, like it's outside. Like you can play it anywhere outside. Like even if you're downhill, it makes it easier to play. Because like you're rolling the ball and it goes down and tries to hit the other player's block. That is true. You can play on any terrain. You can stake it off however you want to. And that works really well for small backyards or big yards or anything in the way. Lincoln, what were your, some of your thoughts on the game? I like that the castles they were heavy, so if you throw the ball and then you hit it, it might not fall over, then, so then you're like, yeah! <laughs> and, yeah, this is cool. Excellent. Zander, what did you think? I like the ball and then look at if can do, um, after the next round, you can put a thing back up. Yeah, the character powers are pretty cool, so it adds a lot to it. The first player, the yellow player, if he gets any knocked over that first round, can stick him back up. What was your power? Do you remember? I, um... Liked that um, he could stand in front of the. Yeah. Oh like yeah, that's what your power was. You could stand in front, in front of the, the the line a couple steps. That was cool. Do you remember what your power was? Yeah. Like if you um, if you throw the um, the purple one, if you throw the thing out of the stake. The castle too far. Out. Yeah. So if you throw it out normally, it's out of the game. So anyway, we had lots of fun with it. I think you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, Tantrum House gives Kingdom's Lawn game four thumbs up.